So I've never been particularly good at trick shots, but I do know how to make things. So that means I'm really good at trick shots. I'm gonna show you guys how it's possible to make a laser targeting system using computer vision in this laser right here. This is called the Laser Cube by Wicked Lasers. They sent it to me, and it's pretty much the most high tech personal laser on the market, you know, other than this guy right here. <laughs> so, to make the laser detect faces or other objects, we're gonna use a Python script with the OpenCV library. All I'm just gonna do is run a script that basically takes live video from a webcam, analyzes it, searches for faces uh, with the OpenCV library plugin. Um, it can actually do a bunch of stuff. All sorts of image processing, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave the documentation and tutorials down below for those who are interested. We're gonna be using the facial recognition combined with the software to control this laser to make it detect things and blast them. So this laser pretty much does it all. We'll just take a look through the features we've got here. here. So there's a bunch of different apps, right? So we've got like a visualizer, we've got dancers, images, huh, nice. Various animations. Within each of these apps, there's modes. So there's like subcategories. Say we're on animations, so we have a bunch of different animations. If we're on visualizers, we have a bunch of different visualizers. I'll go over more of these at the end of the video. The one we're interested in right now is the pop function. So what this does, is it allows you to use your mouse to direct a laser beam wherever you want it projected. And uh, I can scroll my mouse around on the screen and the laser follows. And then whenever I click, a little beam is shot. Boom. It's like a video game, but it's like lasers and it's like in real life. Freaking sweet, all right? So we're gonna test it out real quick. We've got a balloon right here. Stick it on here. And now, if I scroll my mouse over the balloon and click, pops it. So as you can see with a little bit of code we can very easily make this recognize shapes, faces, whatever we want. And yeah, create a computer vision laser blasting device. Here's how we're going to do that. So if we go ahead and open up Python and we open up the face tracker script, which I got most of it online, I just added a little bit. It just pretty much runs the OpenCV command, tracks my face, and then what I added was the mouse feature. So it overlays the mouse on top of my face. So if I move my face around, I'll show you. So we'll go ahead and run it. This might crash my computer because I've got computer recording and my face. So as you can see, my face is being tracked and the mouse is following the green square on my face and my computer's probably gonna crash because it's recording, processing, tracking, all this stuff. It'll be faster when I actually do it, but for now, as you can see, mouse tracks my face, uh, so yeah, we can make the laser track my face using this. Um, and then periodically, we'll have the mouse just click to shoot, pew, 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 shoot all the lasers that we want. I know it could have programmed it a little bit more effectively, like within the software, rather than this kind of like, keypad workaround version, but I don't want to tamper too much with the software because uh, that might void the warranty. Plus the way I added it was a lot easier, which is the actual reason, so. So right now I have it set up so it's tracking my chest. Uh, so I can move over here, move over here. Laser is tracking my face right on my chest. I put it on my chest because I don't want to take a laser to the eye right now. As you can see, Tracks my face. Look like the Terminator right now. So I wired it up so it now detects blobs instead of faces. Um, Cause I don't necessarily want to be shot with this thing. So as you can see on the computer, we're now detecting the balloon and the laser tracks it. Via the software. So pretty much all we have to do now is just make it shoot. I dangle it in front of the camera, hit shoot. Oh! Just like that. All right, here's what the laser sees. Just dangle it around, move it around, shoot it. All right, so now I've got it set up so we've actually got a webcam instead of the camera just on my Mac. And you can see the live video right there from my computer. This is a yoga studio though, hence the yoga blocks. I'm doing this up here because we've got a nice contrasty white wall um, and black balloons. Makes the software work pretty well. You know, I think the burning death laser really adds to the zen of the place. You just take this balloon right here and uh, kind of Kobe this thing up into the laser. Oh yes, if that ain't zen, I don't know what is. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me testing this out because I just posted one. 
So, you know, go follow, link in the description. I do have one other idea though that could make this even better. Be right back. Whew, and I'm back. Wow, this quick magic of video editing. Uh, we got some masks. I'm gonna position this so the laser shoots out of the eye. Just to give it a bit more personality. Oh yeah, tell me that isn't better. Seriously, you gotta put on laser glasses for this one though. With this, anyone can be dude perfect. This, guys, is the real laser shot. And pull. Dude perfect. because of this guy right here. My computer is just, like I have the laser turned off, but my computer is just relentlessly tracking me right now. Gotta love the sound effects, just. Oh, he's done. <laughs> okay, so one other sweet feature this thing has uh, that I just had to show you is this thing they call a laser harp. So you can see all these light beams we've got right here. All we have to do is just touch them and it makes noise. How freaking sweet is that thing? Huge shout out to Wicked Lasers for sending me this thing. This, this is something else. Well, that about wraps things up for this video. If you did like it, as I said, like. Let's try and get a couple thousand likes. We can do it. Comments down below. What do you want to see me make next? Take it easy, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.